So hello everyone welcome back again to new video in this video i'm going to talk about how you can get selected as a microsoft learn student ambassador so this is the most requested video on my channel and uh, once i have got selected into a, uh, this program and i have been getting various requests to make this video so uh, i will be uh, telling my experiences and how you can get selected in this program so let's get started and dive into the video before that make sure if you are new to the channel consider subscribing to the channel because i bring a lot of videos related to opportunities and to various podcasts and bring uh, share my experience so do consider subscribing to the channel and press the like button and share this video and comment down when you will be getting selected uh, for this program also uh, uh, you can join our telegram community where i share most of the amazing opportunities be it related to uh, uh, internships and full time uh, openings so you can join that group and uh, be active in that group also uh, if you haven't yet applied for the microsoft related hackathon so you can check out the video link will be given in the description so uh, do register for it uh, so let's get started and dive into video So firstly uh, what is Microsoft Learn student master program it is a basically student master program where you get opportunity to learn grow your skills interact with the students network with others and get mentorship opportunity and get swags and various other benefits so this is all about Microsoft Learn student master program and what is the benefits uh, what are the benefits uh, whenever you are applying to any program uh, the reason or the motive should be clear why you uh, should be selected or why you are applying to the program this will make you uh, you uh, when you are applying to the program and getting you selected so uh, so there are various benefits being uh, at linkedin learning uh, mentorship opportunities attending video sessions and uh, community discussions workshops and uh, getting azure credit for hosting the websites and uh, projects so there are various benefits uh, for the, uh, by uh, joining this program so you can uh, join this program and so uh, next is uh, what is the eligibility criteria so uh, any student who is about 16 can uh, register for this uh, apply for this basically student microsoft learn student ambassador program and he need to be he she uh, need to be basically in the college or university uh, so that said this is the eligibility criteria and uh you uh, you need to know uh, basically uh, be a part of uh, technical community events uh, you need to know basically uh, uh workshops or basically a programming language or related things so that uh, whenever uh, the wo- uh, workshops or uh, uh, anything related to be hosted you can host the event and share your experience uh, experiences or share uh uh teach the people uh, teach the students and uh, uh, others so this is so you need to be a technical uh, you need to be part of technical community so this is the eligibility criteria next uh, is uh, when and where you can apply so the when uh, you uh, the applications for the microsoft learn student ambassador is your uh, open uh, open throughout the year and you can apply at any time but the applications will be selected uh, on the quarterly basis uh, basic uh, so once you apply uh, i have applied on the october of uh, once uh, october uh, once and got selected into this program so uh, and you can uh, get into apply to this program basically from official website that is studentambassador.microsoft.com from here you can apply to this program easily and uh, i will be sharing how you can apply and uh, so make sure you watch the video till end and uh, what is the application process and what how you can apply so this is the official website of the microsoft learn student master program that is studentambassador.microsoft.com where you can apply for this program easily so uh, the, uh, here is the apply now button where you can apply easily to this program uh, there will be a three questions asked i will be sharing it how you can apply for it so stay tuned for the video and where uh, you will be getting opportunity uh, you can apply throughout the year 
for this program but the applications will be reviewed on the quarterly basis so once you apply if you apply it now you will be getting uh, selected uh, into uh, if you get selected you will be getting selected into january so that's how it works basically so uh, quarterly uh, applications are accepted so there are three stages for us that is once you get selected and second one is alpha stage second uh, third one or uh, uh, second one is beta stage and third one is pool stage so there are different stages for the microsoft learn student ambassador so here are the some of the top among them where they have uh, they are the gold uh, student masters so how you can apply basically once you uh, join here uh, there are, this is the application process uh, basically so you need to fill out the five uh, to six uh, informations be it related to your application name college informations and related things and uh, this is the applications questions which is being asked so please answer the questions in the following section with one video and two written examples so you need to put up one video and the two written examples and the video duration should be under the two minutes and uh, no editing should be done on the video also uh, the voice should be clearly heard so there are the uh, three uh, topics uh, the three questions being asked that is what's inspire you about the technology and how would you teach a technical concept and teach it to your friend or to peer who have never been heard of it and uh, if you are hosting any technical event how you can promote that event and target the audience so you need to make, uh, basically make you uh, uh, some uh, write it down why you need to be selected and how you can uh, do this basically uh, so also you can here attach your social media profiles here uh, there are be it related to linkedin or you have written any technical blogs instagram accounts and various so you need to fill out this application form and just submit it and once you submit it your application will be reviewed and once they have reviewed and they will be uh, getting you uh, an update once you will be selected or not if you are not selected you can up or reapply for it there is no issue for uh, you can reapply and get selected into this program so uh, the question is what you need to do uh, uh, once you get selected for this program so basically uh, once you get selected into this program you just need to improve upon your sk uh, skill sets you need to learn different skills by using linkedin learning attending different workshops or uh, sessions uh, community discussions and uh, host uh, various events and teach other students basically uh, be it related to any development skills or any skills be it uh, python or react or any uh, git so you can teach any technical concept to your store to your communities and share, uh, share it so this is the work which need to be done when you are part of mlsa that is microsoft learn student ambassador program and uh, let's talk about the stages of this program and so here you can see the stages of the program that is uh, or this is the roadmap actually of the student master program so once you get selected you have been invited uh, you need to complete the learning path from the microsoft learn student master so there this is uh, this is the stage where you get selected this is the alpha stage this is the beta and this is the gold stage so once you complete this you need to move the sections and once you uh, this is basically uh, also when you complete when you uh, move on to alpha section you get various benefit be it related to your linkedin learning for the 6 months and various certification examination of microsoft also so once you get uh, to alpha uh, you can move to the beta and when you will be getting to beta you will be getting swag so here you can see the picture of the swag and uh, also you will be hosting various events and con uh, contributing to the community and then you need to um, you move basically to uh, gold uh, stage so this is how the various stages works of the microsoft learn student master program So now let's discuss how you can make your application stand out and how you can actually make that video stand out or when you write the, the content or the application or answers how you can actually make or the stand out and get selected in this program. So basically uh, you need to be yourself 
how would you do uh, when you would be hosting or uh, the event or you would be teaching to anyone so how would you be do uh, so uh, write that it down and be yourself uh, it basically it means and um, uh, when you are doing the video that is how i make the video is by looking at the camera being confident uh, uh, having the smile on the face and so that's how you can do it and be uh, having a louder voice so that uh, being uh, properly uh, to your uh, the listener can be basically hear it uh, actually uh, in a clear manner so these are the some of the points which you can uh, remember and uh, while uh, making your video so this is uh, the some of the points which we can look uh, while making uh, for this and make the application stand out so uh, make be sh- uh, sure that be yourself while uh, making video or writing uh, the application answers so if you like this video make sure uh, you uh, hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more such amazing videos and uh, share this with everyone and if you get selected in this program so let me know in the comments i will be uh, happy that this video has helped you to become microsoft learn student manager so till then uh, you also you can join a telegram community to get various opportunities so till then have a good day and bye bye